Okay, no one usually enjoys having to go back to school. I don't enjoy it, and I still don't. It sucks because you know that your summer vacation has ended and you have to go back to boring classes. I recently just started school. I'm actually recording the audio for this video once I got home from my first day, which was September 8th. I just started 10th grade, and I, I do like some of my classes. Some. I think my favorite so far is lunch. I actually feel pretty lucky since I know some schools started in August. Even before that, like in July, I think. I'm pretty sure Gamer actually started in like the middle of July or something. Actually, hang on, I think I'm gonna call her and ask. Hello. Hi, Gamer. So, um, I'm making this, uh, animation about school, and, uh, uh -huh. you said you started in the middle of July, right? Yeah, around that. Okay. When did you, uh, get out of school, actually? I got out of school around May-ish, like the end of May. So you had about, like, two months of summer? Yeah, kind of sucked, but, you know, school. You're probably gonna <laughs> get out of school early, though. Possibly. Alright, well, thanks, that's all I needed for the animation. Alright, see ya. Alright, bye. Okay, so yeah, she did start in July, apparently. And I know I usually do gaming videos, but I'm trying to do more animations, actually. Alright, guys. So I originally planned on just animating what I voice recorded on the 8th. But nope, I have experienced some more stories, and I remembered more from my past, so I'll be sharing those instead of... The the one I was going to tell you that involved my class debating over if our teacher's husband was Asian or not because he, di he didn't even look Asian at all. See what I mean? Would have been a much shorter and less interesting video. So anyway, I'm recording this part on the 23rd, about two weeks after I last did the recording for this. But whatever. Okay, story number one. Okay, so it happened on the 22nd yesterday, and you know how schools have those lockdowns? those lockdown drills just in case of an unwanted visitor came into the school. Yeah, that happened to me and my friends during our gym period. We all went into the locker room and we had to stand at the lockers. One of the students there, by the way, I'm never gonna mention actual names, so we'll just call him Liam. So Liam decided, since he was small enough, that he would sit in a locker that didn't have a door on it. I think you can see where me and my friends went with this. Me, RTV Combat, or Travis, Dan, and Michael, Travis is RTV comments actual name by the way. We all did the same thing and we actually had too much fun with it. The lockers are set into like four or five di different squared off sections and we were the last one. The coach came around with a serious look on his face, saw us, and then went to a big smirk thinking, what the heck are these a-holes doing? Which by the way is something he actually said to another coach beside him, but less PG. Okay, story number two. So back in like fifth grade, I joined the art club. Oh, what a surprise. And during one of the meetings at the school, there was like this jelly glue stuff in a bucket with a wooden spoon or something in the glue. One of my friends, we'll just call him Adam, decided to run around and try to fling the glue at people when the teacher wasn't looking. So when the art teacher walked out of the room for like two seconds, Adam tries to fling the glue at someone. But instead, it hit the countertop where the sinks were. It went everywhere, and it was a mess. When the teacher got back and saw the mess, he demanded to know who it did. Of course, me being the goody two-shoes I was back then, I waved my hand in the air and said, Adam did it. I thought Adam was just gonna have to clean it up or something, like, you know, not that bad of a punishment, or else I wouldn't have said anything. But as soon as I said that name, the teacher said that Adam was kicked out of the art club. He was crying and everything, I felt so terrible, I felt really bad. Then, again being the goody two shoes I was, I went up and talked to the teacher, and we made a compromise where all Adam had to do was write a little letter to the art teacher and he could stay in the art club. I forget if Adam even came back or not. But anyway, story number three last story because I can't remember anything else. But what happened was, this is a story from the Raging Rhino by the way, what happened was that in Tyler's math class, there was this one kid, let's call him Terry. He was doing a simple math worksheet like the rest of the class was. Terry asked the teacher if he could use the bathroom, so the teacher asked if she could see his worksheet. Terry brought it up and I think two answers weren't even completed. 
So the teacher said that Terry could go once he finished the two questions. So Terry, instead of finishing those two problems, so that he could go to the bathroom, went back to his desk and started crying. Really? You didn't even have to get the answers right, just fill them in. It could have been so simple. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I've been really busy with this animation and a Black Ops 3 video for my second channel. And of course, I've had school to worry about too. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and you want me to animate something else, just suggest it down below in the comments section. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.